Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We're going to be looking at the new comparison view in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. This is a long requested feature and it's finally here. The ability to compare different shots, different scenes, different frames, different views. It's important to note that you can use this not just for color correction and grading, but you can also use it for effects. Let's go have a look. So this new button right here, it's there by default and it is the new comparison view. When you click on it, it will open up the program monitor into a comparison view. It allows you to see one frame on the left and a frame on the right. For our purposes, I'm going to drag this over here to make that one bigger and drag this down to make that bigger because we don't really need to see everything else. Okay, so the clip on the right is our current clip, and you can see that right there. As I move between here, the auto select clip is turned on, so it knows what to show in the right hand side. On the left, what we're looking at is the time code here, and this is the full timeline. So if I move this along, I can move to the same frame. I can move past it through the whole timeline. I can copy and paste time code here uh, and paste that in. I can also use these buttons to jump to the edit points. So that's back to the beginning of the sequence. That's to the next. This is the equivalent of using the down arrow to go through all of these clips. Okay, so we can also use this in a frame comparison mode. So by default, it's shot comparing, and we can look at the shot this way, side by side. We can look at it as a vertical split, and we can look at it as a horizontal split. If you move your mouse into this area, you'll notice a blue line turn on, and that's giving the user an idea that they can change this view. And you'll see the cursor changes to allow me to move this left and right. I can hit play, the view on the right will play, the view on the left will not, it will stay on that current frame. So that's shot comparison between these two. There's also a button here for frame comparison. If I click on this, we're now looking at the exact same frame left and right. If I click on the vertical split, we're now looking at it with a split in the middle, split top and bottom. It's very useful for things like matching the shot left and right. And by the way, we can click on this button and swap sides. So this is now the current one. And when I hit play, it's still going to play only in the current one. And this will again be our reference frame. So we can use this, as I mentioned, not just with color correction, but also with effects. If I go to my color workspace, this is the Lumetri color workspace. And if I wanted to cool this down, this is a way to look at another clip here and cool that down and get an idea of how these two look. The next episode, I'm going to show you a feature called color matching, and it will uh, show you how to use the built-in color matching feature in Lumetri teasing you with that one because here we're just looking at the comparison. Okay, if, if we choose frame comparison instead and we go to the vertical split, you'll notice that it looks the same. Now your first thought might be, well, why don't I see a before without the temperature change? That's because the comparison view is showing us the before which was that temperature change. If I go out of the comparison view, and we reset this, then I go into my comparison view and change it. Now we're looking at a difference between the two and I can set that center point here. Just zoom in on that. I just hit the tilde key to zoom in on that a little bit more. We can also use this for the creative section here too. So if I wanted to go through all of the different looks that are in here and apply that, now I'm looking at 
that look in between this image here. All right, now let's look at it for visual effects. So I'm gonna click out of comparison view and go to this shot here, because I think I wanna sharpen this one up. So I'm out of comparison view, then I will go uh, get my visual effects. So let's go to sharpen, and I'm gonna be using my convolution kernel sharpen more on this guy here. So I'll go back to comparison view, drop this on, and now you'll see a difference between that. So the after is on the right, the before is on the left. And you can see that does sharpen that image up nicely. Now conversely, I wanna show you blur on this. So if I blur this on the right, of course, you can see the blur before and after. If I switch this to a vertical only blur and we go out of this, the whole thing is blurred. If we go back in and I change this to a horizontal blur, then you'll see this. So you, you have to get used to the idea that you're backing out of the comparison view to make a change because as soon as you hit that point of the comparison view, the reference display is whatever the timeline was when you hit the comparison view. It doesn't update, the reference is locked. You've gotta get in and out. But I think most people are gonna do something simple like get into that reference view or get into the comparison view and then add an effect or tweak the color. All right. By the way, all the images that you saw in this video were supplied by Adobe Stock, the premium supplier of stock images, video, uh, motion graphics templates, illustrations, and 3D objects. Find your perfect asset for your next creative project. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed, hey, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, we're making it very easy through PayPal. One-time donation or a monthly donation, and the link is in the description of this video. It's also on the front of this channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.